Hi everyone, it's Scott here and welcome to the next part. And in this one we're now going to set up our player health system as well as a way of getting uh, enemies to be able to hurt the player and then kill the player. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to open up uScript Tools, uScript Editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up kind of like the enemy um, in the player script. So make sure you're in the player script. We're going to basically create a new variable, an integer, and this is going to be our player health. So under name, we're going to type in player health. For a value, we're going to choose about five. So we're going to give them lots of health. This is a nice, easy setting. I'm also going to click this button called expose to unity. And what this does is it actually lets us access this variable in other scripts because um, we're going to be able to access the player health in our enemy script so we can do the enemy damage. Now what we want to do is we want to, um, let's have a look, two seconds, um, we just want to create a new event, add events and a game event, global update. So like the enemy, we want to check every frame to see how much health the player has and then we want to um, we want to load the level again we want to restart the level if we run out of health so under here we're going to type in compare int this is going to compare our health integer so set up like that every update it's going to compare our integer under instance I'm just going to right click add a variable uh, owner game object and just plug that in I'm going to plug our health into here and under B we're just going to add in a damage value or sorry just a compare value so under variables and int we're going to type in one so we're going to see if our end or our player health is less than one ie your health will be zero or below and if that happens we're not going to destroy the player we're just going to simply in the search bar type in load level and this will just reload the, the, the level now, for the level, you just need to make sure it's the same as your scene name. The mine is called Test Unity, and it tells me at the very top. We can also go into our scenes view and see that it's called Test with a capital T. Yours will probably be different unless you are following me forward forward. So my level name is called Test. And what's going to happen is if we have no health remaining, it will load the level. So that's one part of it done, and we're just going to save this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the the, it's a bit of a tricky setup. Basically, if an enemy comes into contact with the player, we don't want him to kind of bump into him. We just want him to pass the room, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our player, uh, our player, and under where it says box collider, we're just going to turn on is trigger. So we're going to use trigger collision instead of uh, actual rigid body collision because then we can run into some issues if they're kind of bumping into each other. Now, we're going to go into our enemy script. I'm just going to find our enemy script. So this is what we've done previously. So in some blank space, what we're going to do is we're going to have what's called a trigger event this time. So we're going to try bin trigger event. And I'm doing this in another script just to show you something else that you can do. We can actually access now, because we exposed our variable in the other uh, graph, uh, we expose this to unity. This means that now we can access our player variable in a different graph. And to do this, all we do is in the toolbox, we go to what's called the reflected uh, test panel. We go to properties and we locate our, uh, let's see, our player script component. We're just going to expand that and we scroll down to whatever we named our uh, variable, which was called player health. And we're just going to click that to bring it in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this instance button and then we're just going to drag in our player into the game object and that will fill in this. So now it's linked up properly. So this means that whatever our variable is, this is what it is here. Um, so they're now linked together. Now, what we want to do is we want to have a subtract int in here. And on trigger enter, so only whenever an enemy um, kind of passes into the player, then we want to subtract whatever our current health is by the damage that the enemy is going to do. 
So we're going to make a variable, integer. For the time being, we're just going to make the enemy damage the player by one. And as a result, then overwrite whatever the player health, or overwrite that value into our player health, giving us a new player health. Now there's a few more things we need to do here. Under the trigger events, we just need to turn on this triggered by. Under the instance, it's actually just the owner. So the instance is the owner object. And triggered by, we want this to be triggered by the player only. So drag in player from our hierarchy into here and place this as a game object and plug that in. So now what's going to happen is if the player, um, or sorry, if the enemy enters into the player's trigger volume, which is just the player itself, then it's going to subtract um, one from player health and I put it to a new player health value. So our player has five health, so let's give this a go. We're just going to save this. We're going to exit out of it, and um, we're just going to hit play. So at the moment I can kill our enemy. One, two, three. Let's turn that off and hit play again. He follows us. But now he's hurt us. We're running away. He's hurt us again. It's two, three, four, and hopefully the last time it will restart the level. Like so. So that's a really easy way of just implementing... Um, that's one way, sorry, of adding in um, player damage system. Okay, from the enemy. So really that's it, quite a short one, um, so hopefully that works for you and I will see you in the next video.